This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Sometimes when we're working in our queries, we change our mind, and sometimes other people change our mind for us. So what we need to do is look at how to make changes in the queries so that when you need them, you can easily and quickly modify what you've got. Let's go back into our access query, and this is a very quick one. And by the way, when you hit your run button, you are technically running your query, and technically you are in the Dynaset, which is the answer, and it's directly linked to the tables, and so what you have in your table is what you're going to have in your questions answer in your Dynaset. However, if you use the view button, and you click the view button to go to data sheet view, you did not technically run your query. Now in a select query like we've been looking at, there's not any difference, but later when you do different types of queries, there's a dramatic difference here. So for today, we'll continue to hit the run button, but I just want you to make sure that you recognize the difference between using each one of those results buttons. Okay, so in our grid, we need some changes made. We want to be able to, for instance, sort. We realize that as we're looking at the employee ID, we don't like the order that the data is showing up. And so we go down into the sort line, we click the drop down arrow, and we can do ascending or descending. Let's put these in descending order and, and look at, we switched it. Now if we want to go back to design view and turn off, you choose not sorted. So that's one change you can make that we haven't talked about yet, and that's simply how to change the order of the data that you're viewing in your Dynaset. Access works left to right, so the order that you want to sort, you'd have to have those fields put in the order in your grid if you're going to sort more than one field. If you're just sorting one field, then there's no worry. You just choose your sort, and that's the, the order, excuse me, that's the Dynaset sort order that will be used. Now, if you want to add a field, you know that you can double click. I'm just going to add project ID into my grid. I double click from the table, and it pops it into the grid. If it's not in the correct location, then you just take your little thick black arrow, click, let go. Your mouse turns into a left slanted arrow, and you click and drag until you get the black line where you want it and you let go. If you don't want a field in your grid, you simply click with your thick black arrow and hit your delete key on your keyboard and that can be deleted. To select more than one field, you simply get that thick black arrow. Now remember, to get that thick black arrow, I'm right above the employee ID field right now. And to get that thick black arrow, there's just one spot you can get it. Right now I'm too low, right now I'm too high. See, it's just a little tiny error space in there, excuse me, not error space, but margin of error is what I was going to say, that ah, right there, right there is where it is, and you click. Now if you want more than one, thick black arrow, click and drag, and don't let go, and you can select more than one field. You also can rearrange the size, because sometimes fields are too long or too short, so at the border, where one field ends and the next one begins, two-headed arrows, and you can click and drag and resize. A double click, let's make this one too short. A double click is the auto fit, where it automatically fits the longest entry that's there. So as you resize, personal preference, what you want that to look like. If you select more than one and you resize, what you do to one, you do to many. So whatever you have selected, let's put those back to somewhat normal view. Anything that you do in other Microsoft products will probably work here as far as modifications. Single clicks usually select, double clicks usually highlight, and right clicks generally give you your shortcut menus. So most of the time those same features will work for you here in this area. And if you're an Excel user, things that you use in the Excel grid to modify will probably work in this area as well. Not everything, but many things. So use what you currently know for modifi modifying objects and try to apply it here and it will probably work for you. Remember, there's no right or wrong to what you put in your grid. It's simply what question do you want to ask and put your question into the grid. Oh, one more thing before I quit. In the criteria, let me just type some criteria in here. I almost forgot this one. That's not real criteria. But what if you had a lot going on. 
a lot of, a lot of criteria going on and you wanted to quickly start over. The little thick black arrow by the criteria line, by the criteria word, excuse me, click and drag. And remember, what you select is what you affect. So now I can hit delete and I can get rid of all my criteria at one time. That's a really fast option if you have multiple lines of criteria going. So good luck with making your changes and just know that if you don't do it right, you can always start over simply by closing. And when it says, do you want to save your changes? You can say no. It'll put it away and you can start from scratch. But good luck with your queries.